Okay, as my first entry indicated, I'm not an expert on veneering. In fact, I've never done it before. One of the reasons I'm doing this blog is to share with you guys my experience as I get my feet wet, so to speak. From what I've watched and from what I've read, I believe you need to have everything set up and ready to go so you don't have to be running and grabbing supplies midway through the process. I'm going to go over with you a few items that I have ready to go tonight. I have a utility knife with a brand new sharp blade, a veneering saw, blue masking tape, some veneer rollers, clear packing tape, new sharp razor blades, extra utility knife blades, a measuring tape, three hole veneer tape, and this is a long sanding block. I'm going to be using this uh, to joint the edges of my small pieces of veneer. Later on I'm going to make a shooting board for a trim router. Tonight I'm just planning on uh, veneering up a small panel and experimenting with joining two pieces of veneer together just to see how it works and to test out my system. Over here is a small plastic dish with a wet sponge to wet the veneer tape. These are some panels that I'm going to be experimenting with uh, veneering. Some wax paper to cover my platens. And right here are four 2x2 two two sheets of 3 quarter inch melamine with grooves cut in a 2 inch pattern. This will be the substrate for my press. The grooves allow the vacuum to uh, pull down the bag on top of the uh, substrate that is being veneered. Right here I have a small piece of MDF hardboard for a cutting surface. I have a uh, plastic cutting sheet and a veneer cutter. Actually, this is not really a veneer cutter, but it's a sharp fabric cutter that I've used for some craft projects. I'm going to experiment with that on cutting some veneer. This is the veneer pack that I'm going to be using for my experiment. I purchased several packs at Rockler uh, this last weekend. They had a big sale, and uh, these were uh, for sale for a few dollars, which I thought would be excellent for experimenting. These are two pieces of MDF hardboard that I'm going to be using for platens. I'll be covering the other one with uh, wax paper later on, but this is one ready to go. The wax paper just prevents the platen from sticking to any glue squeeze out. In the back is a paint tray with a small roller that's already pre-moistened. That'll be used to apply the uh, glue. A small rag just in case I need it. And I'm going to be using tight bond cold press veneer glue. Um, I figured for my first experiment that I'll use uh, cold press glue. Later on I'll probably experiment with uh, Unibond 800 which is a urea formaldehyde glue. I'd rather get a little experience under my belt before I start using that glue. I've got one panel ready to go. I'm going to show you what it looks like and then go through the process of how I did it. So I used the sanding block to joint these edges. It turned out actually to do a fairly good job. I can't even see the split here. I then used small pieces of blue tape to hold the two pieces together. You'll notice some pieces of tape along the sides here. This wood has several small splits along the edge and I figured if I can hold the uh, two pieces together in the center that this technique would work good on the outside edge and in fact it did. I then took the three hole tape and duplicated that process. I put uh, pieces across the seam and then one piece down along the seam. I also seamed the outside edges where I held the uh, small splits together with blue tape. I'm going to show you now on the next piece how I did that part. Okay, so what I did is I unwrapped my packet of flitches and I went through them and I'm opening them up like a book and I'm going to pick out two flitches okay. so I'm going to match these two together 
for a book match type pattern. Uh, there are several different ways of matching the flitches, which I'm going to talk about later in my blog. I'm going to go through how I jointed these two meeting surfaces. So I folded them back together as a book. I lined them up so they were just sticking over the edge of my board. Then have this scrap piece of three quarter inch plywood that I'm going to secure down with two clamps. I'm going to get the board, bottom board and the plywood edge together. And right now I'm not going to worry too much about the veneers. I'm just going to gently get the clamps on and then I'll adjust the uh, veneer. Now what I'm going to do now is get the veneer so it's just sticking out a fraction of an inch, just enough to smooth those edges and I'll use the plywood and the bottom board as a guide. I definitely think that the uh, trim router is the way to go and I will be doing that later. But I am a little anxious and want to try out the press and see how this process works. And I think that this will suffice for this experiment. Alright, so now I'm going to take this sanding block and I'm going to use that to just clean up this edge. Feeling a little bit like the wood right now. Okay, now that's a nice smooth surface. I can feel it kind of glide over the two surfaces. And I know that I'm almost there. Excuse me, my thumb. Okay. That comes together real nice. You can't hardly even see that scene. Mm -hmm.